Okay, last question. Um, and this is another one of those pre-planned ones. We talked a little bit about this. Um, Freudian question, uh, not in like the way you might be expecting, but uh, give me the, uh, the id, the ego, and the superego of the 2024 Kansas City Chiefs, whether those are players or coaches or position groups or, or what have you. What, what are you, well, how would you answer? This is very open-ended, obviously. <laughs> yeah, so I think the hardest part for me about this question was determining what, like finding an id, you know, um, <laughs> at least like an individual player. Uh, just so that people know, like the, the id kind of represents your base animalistic desires, you know, like immediate pleasure kind of things. Um, the super ego, on the other hand, if you think of like the other end of the spectrum, is like extremely conscientious, like much more cognitive, thinking about what makes the most sense, almost like, you know, when, you, when you're when you doing things that are under your super ego, the idea is like you're being purely rational, nothing for enjoyment, nothing for fun. And the ego is supposed to kind of moderate between the two and determine, you know, because obviously no one can live either one of those ways. If you go it all the time, you're either going to be in jail or homeless. And if you go the super ego all the time, like you're going to be the most, you know, boring person in the world and not enjoy anything. And, you know, the humans are not made to work that way. So um, I think very clearly we got to start with Andy Reid being the ego. Like Andy Reid is the ego of this team. He is able to joke around. He's able to let players, you know, his whole thing is let your personality show. Like he knows how much to give and how little to criticize players publicly. But at the same time, privately, he does kind of manage them. He does kind of bring things down. So in this idea, like the players are more the the kind of id. We don't have a lot of like super ego players, you know, like so if you wanted to go like groups, like the players, the id of the team, like they're going to go around and, and, and if you channel your id correctly, you can have a lot of fun too, right? A lot of good things can still happen. It's not the id is all bad. It's just, if you go after things you enjoy, some of those are going to be great. You just can't overdo it. And so I think the players kind of have that more tendency. Andy Reid kind of balances that. And I would have to say, I guess, the super egos are ownership. You know, the, 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 the Clark Hunts of the world, the, the NFL, not that Clark Hunt himself is, I think he's very hands off, at least it appears that way. But I think the NFL owners are the ones that are like, handing out taunting penalties and things, you know, the, the kind of no fun league comes from the, the owners. So I would say the, the owners is how I describe the super ego. Um, with Andy Reid as the ego kind of moderating, like how much do we need to be buttoned up and how much do we need to be having fun? And you need a little bit of both in order to succeed. Um, the only other thing I would add is I think we have had some individual player ids in the past. Young Travis Kelsey was certainly an id uh, uh, up until maybe like 2017. I think we had, and he was a good example, or probably the best example of a real id, I think was maybe Marcus Peters. Of like, just complete instinct. Like, he knew how to read certain things. He would break rules of the coverages, but get interceptions. But he could also, like, completely burn you by doing that. Or he would chuck a flag into the stands and get a penalty. And so I think that he would have been a great example. Uh, Demarcus Robinson seemed a little itty for a while. He would catch the ball and just run around like crazy and you don't know where he's going or what he's doing. Part of me wanted to say, like, the current team, you could make a case for, like, a Kadarius Tony, But I don't know. He doesn't... Kadarius Tony to me, is not someone who's, like, out of control. I think Kadarius Tony is more someone who's in his own head. I think he's trying to do the right thing. I, I don't think he's like letting, you know, his, you know, you know, he's not like that guy who's losing his cool and going crazy. And I, I really think he's just gotten crazily in his own head. You know, when you have two drops that lead to pick sixes, I think it's hard to kind of relax. And I think that's where he is right now. Yeah, I see that. It's interesting the way you did you answered that though, because I was I was thinking like as a as an external I feel like only a real like diehard Chiefs fan would answer it that way without giving Mahomes a, a position in that, like as a as a sort of an external 
Chiefs Observer, I would have thought, well, Holmes has to be in here somewhere, right? He's got to be the it or the ego or the super ego. So, um, but I don't know exactly where I, where I would put him. Um, I feel like he'd uh, have to be an ego too. Like he's kind of balances between some like the craziness that happens versus uh, like man, and he's honestly going through his own id ego super ego thing right now, right? Like young Mahomes was just like we're gonna fire this like all id. And honestly, I think feel like when he's played his worst in this season and in 2021, it was too much super ego. He's avoiding making the mistakes. I'm not going to fire that ball in there. I'm not going to take pull the trigger. And when he kind of balances that is when he's at his best. 